Hello, and welcome back to Cajun Curiosities. In this video, I'm going to restore this once beautiful Lacasse pool cue back to its original luster. So sit back and enjoy while I show the steps involved in this process. Originally, the customer wanted me to reset the brass threaded insert at the joint, then thin his shaft down because of all of the uh, peeling finish and dents he had basically from the tip to the butt. Here is how the insert should be set. You can see how it slips right on out, completely out. So I'll get it on the lathe and first I'll make a flat cut across the joint's face. This will ensure it's seating against the uh, unilock joint. Then I'll cut some um, grooves in the edge of the mortise and that way it'll keep the uh, glue from spinning in the mortise. Go ahead and put some grooves on the side of the insert as well. Now I mix two part epoxy and I go ahead and slip the whole thing in, tap it in nice and tight. Here we're going to clean it off, just a napkin, turn it by hand, make sure I get the middle clean. There's no glue on the threads on the inside, and one more turn on the outside rim. Okay, so now that the insert's fixed, I'm going to go ahead and sand the shaft down. I'm going to go all the way down to the wood. I want to take all that finish off. Um, I'm going to take it off the shaft, the black phenolic ring. Um, just everywhere there's finish, I'm going to take it clean off. Start over. So we're starting with uh, 100 grit. And you can see me, um, after spinning it on the lathe, I'll go ahead and sand it by hand along the grain to get rid of any swirls. Then I change to 150 grit, and you can see me doing the same thing, sanding along the grain to get rid of the swirls. I'm going to take care of this uh, with every type of sandpaper I have, starting at 100, going to 150, down to 220 where I'm at now. Then I start with my sanding sponges, and uh, I'll speed up the lathe. And I won't have to sand along the grain with the sanding sponges. They start at 400, 600, and then 1,000 grit. I'd just like to take a little time and mention a little side note here. I'm just helping people with their pool cues. These cues are not new. They're usually second and third hand cues, totally out of warranty. In a cue like this, it was in such bad shape. Um... The guy just wanted to get it fixed, and I thought I could do a little bit better by refurbishing the whole thing. I'm not trying to guarantee that it's as good as the manufacturer set it out. A lot of times, the manufacturers won't even consider doing the work that I do for these people. I'm just trying to help out, and uh, I only charge about what it costs me in materials uh, to fix the cues. Sandpaper, glues, finishes, that kind of thing. That said, um, I usually have a lot of fun helping these people with their cues, and some of them come out pretty nice. I will say, every one of my customers has been tickled pink and proud of their cues when they got them back from me, and that's what makes it worthwhile for me. Okay, I'll buff all the sawdust out so I can get ready for my new finish. And as you can see here, for my new finish, I'm going to use a CA glue. It's a medium CA glue. And that puts a really thick coat of finish on it to start with. Next, I'll spray a little CA Accelerator spray on it. And you can see me doing that here. And that makes it uh, dry really quickly. Usually, when I refinish a shaft, I just barely get into the wood. And I'll use a uh, shaft sealer and build it up three or four coats. In this case, the shaft was dented. It was really awful. I got into the wood deeply, so I went ahead and put this thicker coat of uh, CA glue and accelerator, and I used three coats of it. So you can see me sanding all that off now, the same method that I used when I took the finish off the first time. But in this case, I'm just trying to uh, flatten that finish out, smooth it out, kind of polish it up. I will say that I only put the um, CA glue finish on the joint end of the shaft, basically because that cosmetic phenolic ring, that black ring with the little white windows, was really messed up. 
and I wanted to make that really sparkle. The rest of the shaft, especially where you're going to be using it with your bridge hand, you're going to be touching that. Uh, I'm using a shaft sealer, and I'll just do it the same way as I did any other shaft that I refinished. I'll apply it all the way from joint to tip and um, work it in really well. I'll put about three or four coats on it, and then I'll sand it down uh, with some 1000 grit. Now, the 1000 grit sanding sponge is basically only used to smooth out that finish. I'm not trying to sand it off or anything like that. It smooths it out to basically a polish, and uh, it's almost as smooth as when I put the wax on it, which is the last step. Now that is one smooth cue. Let me tell you now, I guarantee. And you can see me here applying the last step. That's some cue wax there I put on a rag. I'll go ahead and hold that tight as I can. I want it to really heat up. And uh, sometimes I get blisters on my fingers from holding so tight. You've got to be careful. You don't want that rag to uh, bunch up on you and catch. But uh, after doing it a while, you get used to it. I've now changed the rag to a drier spot, and I'm just spreading out the wax. And, uh, oh, there, it caught me. It was hot. So uh, now I'm going to spread it to another portion of the rag, nice and dry, and I'm just going to even the rest of that wax out. Now here's the tip end. I'm just trying to shape it for him and cut off that little nipple that usually gets left when I'm cutting the tip off with my uh, cross sled cutter and uh, sanding it up a little bit. Just gonna polish it up and finish it out. Put a little bit of chalk on there and it'll be a done deal. And here's the finished project. Well, I hope the video was worth your time. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please visit Cajun Curiosities again. And don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to sharing with you soon and ask that you click like and share as well. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.